Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Blockchain Central. In today's episode, we'll look into one of the most popular crypto exchanges in the world. Coinbase is on the agenda for today. Coinbase is not the biggest exchange by volume. It is certainly one of the highest in visibility. If you're just getting started in the crypto world, chances are that Coinbase is where your journey will begin. That is why, according to reports by Blockchain Transparency Institute, Coinbase has the largest active user base with over 400,000 daily users. The platform also boasts the total pool of 20 million users and claims to have already processed over 150 billion USD in trades. Due to its visibility, Coinbase is frequently referred to as a pathway to the mainstream adoption. But whenever we hear that phrase, several obstacles usually come into play. And what are those? Well, let's break it down. Coinbase was conceived in 2012 by Brian Armstrong and Fred Arson. Brian had prior experience in tech and as a co-founder of UniversityTutor.com and a software engineer at Airbnb, Fred, on the other hand, has a background in computer science and finance, having worked at Goldman Sachs. After a strong start in securing a 5 million USD in Series A funding from Union Square Ventures, Coinbase continued to grow by attracting more users with its clean, legible user interface and strong marketing tactics. As of February 2019, their website quotes the total amount of funding received to be around 217 million USD. Currently, the two main products offered by Coinbase are Coinbase and Coinbase Pro, formerly known as Global Digital Assets Exchange, GDAX. The latter is an order book exchange where institutional buyers can exchange crypto and determine mid-market price. The user-focused Coinbase sells the currencies to end users and individual buyers on a brokerage basis. What makes Coinbase stand out from the other platforms is the fact that they are focused on a limited number of currencies. You can only trade Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ethereum Classic. Coinbase Pro allows for other currencies with certain limitations. Another interesting decision was to operate as more of a brokerage than an exchange platform. What does it mean? In essence, when you're buying Bitcoins on Coinbase, you're actually buying it from Coinbase itself and not from other marketplace participants. This means that Coinbase always has an internal, reliable source of liquidity. Coinbase also stands out from their competitors because their practice of storing 98% of customers' digital assets in secure offline storage. This, together with the fact that they have insurance policies covering losses caused by security breaches, accidental losses, or employee theft, make the platform one of the safest in the market. As a result of the above, Coinbase managed to generate 1 billion USD in revenue in 2017, making it one of the most successful stories in the crypto zone. It also shows no signs of slowing down despite the crypto bear market in 2018. The business model that made it possible is based on charging fees on both its brokerage and exchange. Of course, Coinbase is facing tough competition from exchanges such as Bitfinex, Bitstamp, Kraken, or Bitflyer, and brokerages such as Robinhood. The thing that sets Coinbase apart from its competitors is the fact that the platform only allows fiat to crypto exchanges and does not support crypto crypto pairs. This effectively limits the competitor pool for Coinbase as there are only few exchanges that cater to retail and beginner investors. So far, this video might have felt like an advertisement of Coinbase. Spoiler alert, it's not. Now it's time to look at the challenges, controversies, and allegations connected to this brokerage. First of all, Coinbase has been unabashedly open about its strategy of cooperating with the authorities. As a US-based company, they made it a priority to comply with state-by-state -state money transmission laws and working closely with law enforcement. On the one hand, this focus on compliance is a good thing in the crypto world, which desperately needs to shed its reputation as an avenue for illicit and black market activities. On the other hand, most crypto enthusiasts feel strongly about decentralization and privacy and might be reluctant to use a centralized platform with strong ties to the government. In February 2018, Coinbase informed 13,000 customers that their transaction data will be made available to the IRS to help identify individuals who were evading cryptocurrency-related taxes. The affected users were the ones to process $20,000 or more through their accounts in a single year. The release data includes taxpayer IDs, names, dates of birth, addresses, and transaction records from that period. To Coinbase's credit, the company fought long and hard to limit the number of people whose records will be released, but eventually complied with the San Francisco court ruling. What's also concerning is the fact that despite the high number of registered and active users, the overall transaction volume on Coinbase is surprisingly low. Binance, for example, is reported to have 10 times more on daily transaction volumes than Coinbase. This is probably connected to the entry-level nature of the platform and the fact that it's primarily used by retail investors. 
Over the years, multiple reports have also emphasized the scaling challenges experienced by Coinbase. This mostly pertains to the customer support and the transaction capacity. This was acknowledged by the company's leadership and led to the hiring of over 200 customer service representatives in 2017 and to the expansion of Coinbase's engineering talent pool. Finally, there were allegations of insider trading pertaining to the launch of Bitcoin Cash on the platform, even though, according to Brian Armstrong, Coinbase has a trading policy in place prohibiting employees and contractors from trading on material non-public information. The significant spike in the price of Bitcoin Cash just hours before it launched on Coinbase did raise a few eyebrows. The final piece of criticism has to do with the crypto landscape in general. The platform remains primarily a tool for trading digital assets for profit and not the open global financial system that we were all hoping for. Even though Coinbase has been cooperating closely with multiple retail and service companies to facilitate Bitcoin payments, we still haven't seen a long-awaited widespread adoption. That being said, Coinbase continues to grow by acquiring other companies and expanding their scope of operations. Some notable accusations in the past year include Keynote Capital Corp, Venovate Marketplace Inc, and Digital Wealth LLC, which will help Coinbase enter the STO market. In addition, the company announced the launch of their own venture capital arm, Coinbase Ventures, which will focus on investing in DLT companies. Multiple reports also predict that Coinbase will eventually make other altcoins available for trading. The company is apparently looking into adding Cardano, Zcash, and Stellar into their portfolio, but this has not been confirmed yet. All in all, Coinbase can serve as a case study into a client-facing crypto exchange that saw significant success in raising capital and marketing itself as the most user-friendly entry-level brokerage. Their focus on regulatory compliance, despite criticism by hardcore crypto enthusiasts, can eventually be a positive focus in the market. Whether the platform will have a long-term staying power remains to be seen, but that is exactly what's fascinating about blockchain. There's no such thing as too big to fail, and we're all witnessing it firsthand. Before you go, please note that this content does neither represent financial, legal, or tax advice, nor is it supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell any securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Blockchain Central to never miss a beat.